Hey, what's up guys? It's Jupiter here. Welcome to another video. Desktop PCs nowadays come in all shapes and sizes. You can get the full-sized Shazi all the way down to the compact small mini PCs. The new Beelink ACR is a mini PC made for business users. It seems to have all the right specs, including an AMD Ryzen 7 processor, dual channel memory, as well as NVMe drive. It's definitely capable of some serious computing. The packaging of the ACR looks really nice. It's simple, yet still very attractive. You can see the specs of this mini PC on the back of the box. The unit in my hands features 16GB of memory, 512GB of internal storage. Inside the retail package, you will find a user guide, a wall mount bracket, a 57W power adapter, two HDMI cables, and a mini PC. Beelink products were never really known for their designs. Don't get me wrong, most of them look just fine, but they somehow lack a little bit of character. This new ACR could possibly be the game changer. It's extremely stylish. The carved finish on the top gives this computer a beautiful premium look. The branding of Beelink and AMD also look quite lovely. As compact as it is, the ACR still packs in I.O. There are two USB 3 ports, a multifunction USB-C port, and a 3.5mm headphone jack on the front side. You can also find a CMOS reset hole and a power button with the LED built in. The ACR has an active cooling system inside, so it features quite a lot of vents on the surface of the case. On the back side of this computer, you will find two more USB 3 ports, an RJ45 Ethernet jack, two HDMI 2.0 ports, and a DC in port. The only missing item you might need is an SD card slot. The bottom side of the ACR is pretty long to script. There are indications in the middle on how to enter BIOS setup and boot menu, just in case you might need to. There are also two rubber stripes to make sure the ACR stays on your desk. If you have a screwdriver, you can easily get inside the system. Normally, you wouldn't have to do that unless you have to make a repair. Because the ACR is so small, there isn't really much expansion room inside. You can find a bracket for a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive or SSD, but nothing more than that. Still, even having the ability to add more storage is an impressive feature considering how tiny it is. Most mini PCs run on the home edition of Windows OS, but the Beelink SCR ships with licensed Windows 10 Pro. Average consumers may not tell the difference because they look and feel the same, but for power users, the Pro edition offers a few extra features. The SCR also comes with a TPM2 chip, so it will get the Windows 11 upgrade once it's available in your region. By the time I finished making this video, my ACR was already running on Windows 11. So I will share my experience with this new operating system in another video. If you would like to see that, a subscribe to the channel would be nice. The ACI is powered by an AMD Ryzen 7 3750H CPU, which has 4 cores, 8 threads, and is built on 12 nanometer process. It also features Radium RX Vega 10 GPU. 16GB DDR4 memory and 512GB NVMe drive. Although the CPU is a mobile chip used in compact systems, it still has a relatively high base clock of 2.3GHz and can turbo up to 4GHz when tasks are noted. Benchmarks do not always translate into real-world power, but they are the most objective ways to measure a PC's performance. To help you better understand the ACR's benchmark scores, I also compared it to other budget and mid-range mini PCs in the charts. First, Aaron Maxson's latest CPU crunching Cinebench R23 test, which stresses the CPU rather than the GPU to render a complex image. The ACI got fairly decent scores in both single core and multi core. I also ran the Cinebench R20 test on the ACI in order to compare it to other models I had tested before. The results were not that impressive. But the beating ACR still edged out the Lenovo ThinkCenter M720Q and was way ahead of the Intel Lactam Mini. In the cross-platform Geekbench 5 test, the ACR scored 923 in CPU single-core, 2957 in multi-core, and 1818 in OpenSeal. Again, solid but predictable. PC Mac 10 simulates different productivity and content creation workflows. We use it to assess overall system performance for office-centric tasks such as word processing, spreadsheeting, web browsing, and video conferencing. The SCR scored 3681 in the standard PC Mark 10 test, 
ranking above the i5-8400T powered Lenovo ThinkCenter M720Q. Everyone knows that AMD integrates better GPUs in their processors than its major rival Intel. The Radeon iX Vega 10 GPU running the ACR may not match discrete graphics in mainstream desktop PCs or gaming laptops, but it does offer enough power for office computing and even a little bit gaming. In the graphics-focused 3D Mark tests, the ACR easily outpaced models featuring Intel UHD graphics and was only slightly edged by the Intel Lock 8, which comes with the new generation Iris Plus graphics GPU. This mini PC features an M2 NVMe drive and it's very fast. In the real life use, the ACR easily handled everything I threw at it, opening 20 extra web pages in the browser and running a few other applications side by side did not slow the system down. There's also no framescape at all while streaming 4K YouTube videos in Chrome. However, the ACR did struggle a little bit with online videos above 5K. Editing videos in PowerDirector should be challenging for most mini PCs, but not so much for the ECR. It felt almost as smooth as my main computer, which features Jasper Lake i5 CPU and RTX 1660 Super graphics. Mini PCs are never designed for gaming, but the ACR is able to run most 3D games and moderate settings. Fortnite was quite smooth under 1080p and no visual settings. The average frame rate of this game stood at as high as 59 frames per second, which was really impressive considering that there's no discrete graphics inside. Warframe and CSGO were also generally smooth, although there might be frame drops in some of the scenes. Conker's Blade was a completely different story, even at 720p and no settings. It still never felt that smooth, and there were severe frame drops in intense fighting scenes. The average frame rate of this game was only 22 frames per second, which is definitely not enough for you to enjoy the title. There's an active cooling system in the ACR scene body, and it is audible when the computer is under heavy work nodes. Fortunately, the noise was never really too loud, and won't be constantly in your ears. Thanks to the efficient cooling, the ACR's performance is also quite stable. It passed the 3D Mark Skydiver stress test with flying cutters and also did very well in ADA64. When the CPU was fully loaded for 25 minutes, its temperature stayed below 45 degrees all the time. With a power limit of 35 volts, the ACR naturally consumes more power than most budget mini PCs, but it is still much more energy conservative than most desktop PCs and powerhouse laptops. The ACR has two HDMI 2 ports and a multifunction Type-C port, so it can be connected to as many as three monitors at the same time. You can even set all video output to 4K 60Hz. There are only a handful of mini PCs that can serve as your main computer. The ACI is one of them. It has the performance and connectivity options almost comparable to desktop PCs and mainstream laptops. If you're concerned about saving space and energy, yet still need the powerful series computing, the Beating ACR could be a sensible choice for you. Okay, that's all for the review. If you have more questions about the Beating ACR, please leave a message in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.